Welcome back. Tom Harmon here with you, and I'm very pleased to have on the line with us uh, Paul David Kemener and a uh, junior, and Marilee Jacobs. Uh, the, Paul is the director, and Paul and Marilee are the co-producers of a, a movie, Eating You Alive. You can find it at eatingyoualive.com. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty amazing piece of uh, documentary filmmaking. First of all, Paul and Marilee, welcome to the program. Hey, Tom, how are you doing? Great. Thanks for joining us. So why are more Americans sick and dying than ever before, outside of the fact that our population is larger than ever before? But, uh, you know, on a per capita basis, why are, we, why are we getting sicker? Because of the food that we eat. It's that simple. Okay. Uh, for example. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead, Mary. Uh, You know, I think, for example, we've just become so... Um, as a culture, I guess. So used to just eating all the things that to us taste so good and that frankly we're addicted to. So lots of processed foods, you know, the standard American diet, uh, meat at every meal and your dessert at every meal and the coffee and snacks and, you know, snacky foods and energy <laughs> bars and all those kinds of things in between. And somehow we've gotten to think that eating this way doesn't have really any effect on our health when in fact it is the key component to why we have disease and illness and ultimately death. Yeah, as a uh, lifelong, more or less vegetarian and uh, health food nut, um, I've, I've watched lots of documentaries and shows on this, and I'm pretty sure yours was the one where the fellow was like, he threw away his diabetic medication, didn't need that anymore. I mean, tell us, if you could, a couple of the stories that people will find in eating, at eatingyoualive.com. Well, I, th I think one that's, uh, well, basically more of an obesity-related story, but, but amazing. A guy named Mylon Ross, uh, he went from a 60-inch waist to a 30-inch waist, and he didn't do it for weight loss. But he, he literally had hypertension. He was diabetic. He reversed all of that literally within less than two years. Uh, he, he, all his weight, all the weight situation went away in two years. The diabetes went away in weeks. Uh, but then we have other stories of uh, a gentleman by the name of Greg Clapp who had had a heart disease. He had a stroke. He was, his mind basically had gone back, his wife said to that, about a three-year-old. And literally within just a few months of time, uh, he was back normal. Now he's off all his medications, and uh, he feels better than, he, than he's ever felt. That's and enjoying it too. I was going to say that, that, that that's extraordinary. So what what kind of diet? What kind of dietary changes? And 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 I you know I it's almost becoming a cliche to say that we're talking about changing a lifestyle, not going on a diet. That's but right. what are the changes that you found in your research that you put into this uh, into this piece? that were the most successful at accomplishing these high health, high quality of life outcomes? Well, you know, actually, my, I, you know, Paul came from a different culture uh, growing up here in the South <laughs> than I did. And, and uh, honestly, I, we felt like we were a pretty healthy family. Uh, we had actually made the switch to a uh, vegetarian diet uh, when I lost both sets of grandparents to different forms of cancer. And my mom started doing some research. Um, so we cut out the meat eating, but I was a huge cheese addict and loved all kinds of dairy. And for me, um, doing the research, what became readily apparent was that any animal source products were what I needed to remove from my lifestyle, as well as process heavily processed foods and those with added oils and processed sugars and things of that nature. And it really is getting back to plants as they are grown, you know, in their whole form as much as possible and very minimally processed foods mm. like bread, whole grain breads or whole grain pastas and things of Cooked that nature. Beans. Yeah, absolutely. Beans, lentils, grains, vegetables, fruits, nuts and seeds. Um, getting back to those kinds of foods that produces the nutrition that we need to have optimum health. And uh, once I made that switch and got away off all the dairy and all the processed foods, then you see huge and dramatic changes. Yeah, I, yeah I, Louise and I ate, uh, you know, we were ve I've been vegetarian since I was 16, and but we always ate a lot of cheese. And, and it was maybe six, eight years ago. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember what it was. I think it had to do with the Cleveland Clinic. 
Um, but, you know, this study came out that found that cheese was actually more destructive than meat. There's, there's more, you know, there's more fat in it. It's, got, it, it's where a lot of uh, nasty toxins bioaccumulate in the body of the animals. And, um, you know, and, and some cheeses are worse than others, but, you know, uh, cheese just ain't good. And so we pretty much cut the cheese out of our diet. But, uh, you know, on the other hand, occasionally we'll go out to a restaurant and, hey, there's, you know, some cheese on something. Um, how rigorous... We, you know, we're not struggling, struggling with health problems around this, but, but if we were, how rigorous would we have to be to, to accomplish what you're talking about? Would it have to be literally 100%, that's it, no animal products, period? Yes, that's, that's what we hear from all the doctors, is that, again, depending upon your condition, like you said, your condition, you don't, you don't deal with these issues, but for anyone that's dealing with a chronic disease, there's different little different protocols for different, from different doctors and for different types of diseases. But they all agree on the fact that getting animal products out of your diet is the key. It's the key to, to having optimal health yeah. and, disease, and disease reversal. And I think it really goes back to the law of economics, you know, at where you, uh, you take maximum risk for maximum reward or maximum, you know, you invest uh, for your return. And right. so however much you invest, you're hoping to get more out of it. So if you invest just a little bit and you jump in mm -hmm. just a little bit, you're probably going to get a little in return for your investment. If you dive in all the way, you're going to get maximum reward. Right. So we're talking basically here about veganism without the refusing to wear leather shoes stuff, right? Well, actually, we do that too. We do that as well. <laughs> well I mean, yeah, you're, and, and you're perfectly welcome to, but whether you wear leather shoes or not, it's not going to affect your blood pressure. Exactly. That's right. That's right. Exactly. But, you know, honestly, for us, when we went into this, we went into it for through the door of health. Um, veganism from an ethical standpoint wasn't really our perspective, but quite honestly, the more that we became aware, uh, and the more research we did and realized where not only the food was coming from, but where so much of what we wear as well is coming from and what animals go through to produce that and what we're doing to raise animals, how much, how many resources and the amount of those resources we're putting in to get those products, um, from an environmental standpoint, it doesn't make as much sense as going with a whole food plant-based lifestyle, which includes not only the food, but then the rest of how you conduct your life as well. Right. Remarkable. What, what provoked you to, uh, to produce this? And, and what will people find when they go to eatingyoualive.com? Well, what, what, I'll answer the first question. What, what kind of inspired us to do it was... A doctor approached us here in Chattanooga uh, about producing some some assets. He gave he gave seminars on whole food plant based eating, and uh, so for us, so for me in particular, that was a completely you know just you know off the grid kind of way of living. So I and, didn't believe and he dragged it. the rest of us along. Is what he did. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> okay. The rest of the team met. kicking and screaming. And yeah, and so they we all decided to do this, and then within six weeks, I dropped forty five pounds, went back to my high school weight. And in six my, weeks? In six weeks, that's crazy. Now, isn't that, that supposed to be unhealthy to lose that much weight that fast? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is. But I do know that I felt better after that six weeks than I've felt since I was in my 20s. And I had no more issues with my rotator cuff, no more tendonitis. All those kinds of issues went away. And so, yeah, were I didn't you, think it was... Were you, were you limiting calories or simply eliminating all animal foods from your diet? Simply eliminating all animal foods from my diet as well as all oils and added sugars and processed foods. So again, going back to that, eating food out of the ground as grown, you know, basically. Right. We have, a, you know, we have a, a high powered blender, so you can pretty much produce anything. I mean, uh, for me, growing up in the South, I like really, really rich foods, so we can produce all that sure. from plants. Yeah, oh, and Paul Bragg has been singing that song since the 20s. I mean, he's no longer with us, but yeah, I'm sorry, Marilee. No, 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 I was just gonna say, going back to your point about the calorie counting or portion control, it was ridiculous how much food we were eating because I'm not a very big person, but I, I could probably out eat the guys to some degree uh, for some of the meals. And we would be going back for like third helpings, like just heaping platefuls of food. So for anybody who thinks, well, wow, you know, they weren't eating a whole lot or they were really skimping. I don't oh, know. Or you just eat salads all day. Uh, yeah, that's all we ate with salads. That's not it at all. We were eating a ton of food and uh, still got the results. Yeah, and still getting very, very healthy. So what do, what do people find if they go to eatingyoualive.com? Um, you'll find a trailer. You'll find a 
kind of some blog stories, a little bit about the rest of the crew and some articles that we hope people find helpful. Also some recipes, our favorite recipes. And uh, you'll also be able to pre-order uh, the DVD that's um, being made available. And very, very soon, um, actually, there's going to be an appearance on the Today Show and the digital downloads will be available at that point. Um, as well as you'll find locations for screenings that are occurring all over the world right now. Wow, that is absolutely great. Paul David Kemener, Jr. and Marilee Jacobs. Uh, they, Paul is the director. You are the co-producers of Eating You Alive. The website is eatingyoualive.com. What a provocative title. Uh, and the Twitter handle is underscore eating you alive. Do I have that right? At underscore eating you alive? Great. Okay. Uh, Paul, uh, Marilee, thank you so much for being with us today. Good luck. No, thank you, Tom. Keep eating good. We'll be back. This is the Tom Hartman Program.